everyone. I just woke up from a three hour nap. I know that's kind of random to start the vlog out with guys, but I am not a three hour napper. I am more like hour, half hour nap. My work. I was in charge of putting on a trunk or treat for my work. We just had this past week, currently October 30th, so you can kind of see where we are in the timeline here. Guys, I spent all month planning it. Like it was to the point where I was literally driving into work today and I had this moment of what do I do now? Like, were there other things in my life before I had to plan this? There was just so much steps. Like, so much went into it. So many things I had to think of and had to plan or had to change and things like that. And do you ever have those moments where you spend all this time planning for something and then it comes and you look at it and it's good and it's going good, but you're like, huh. I felt this was more complex than just this. So anyways, guys, I was just exhausted today. I worked in the morning today. I came home. I <laughs> took like a hour nap and then I got up and I was like, it ain't happening. And I took a two hour nap. And so I woke up at 5.30 and it was like, I was like in this vortex, like what happened? Like it's dark out almost now. Like where did the time go? And so I'm kind of like a little like off right now. Like you could probably tell this vlog, like I'm just rambling. But anyways, guys, tonight is going to be a self-care night because I just feel like I said with this whole, like this playing this truck or treat, and it was the first one I've ever planned too. So there was so much stress that went into it. I just feel like I just need a self-care night to do the things that I've been very much putting off. I want to carve a pumpkin tonight, guys. I haven't even carved my pumpkin. Halloween is tomorrow. I still have not covered my pumpkin. So tonight is just gonna be a night. We're just gonna get all the fall things out of my system. We're gonna do it all. We're gonna catch up. But yeah, guys, so tonight I think we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna make a tomato soup. And when I say tomato soup, I mean, I'm not making that fancy stuff I made in my previous vlogs. No, I am opening a Camp Progressive soup and heating it on the stove. And that is gonna be dinner tonight, guys. So let's get started. That you ever said Buried soft flax seeds Deep in my chest I wanna know who you are I wanna know who you are Your hands like winter Eyes like wings And the first kiss Cut like ice in the spring remember that I haven't carved a pumpkin in a really long time and I don't think you're supposed to have a jagged and I'm starting to realize now why they have little kits to do this because guys I feel like my pumpkin is just gonna look scary just the way it is wow. he, did the mash. he did the monster mash from my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast the ghouls all came from their humble a jolt from my electrodes They did the monster mash It was a graveyard smash It caught on in a flash They did the monster mash The zombies were having fun The party had just begun The guests included Wolfman Dracula and his son Scene was rocking, all the digging sounds. He got on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They played the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, 
Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the man. It's now the monster man. <laughs> Halloween. Do you like my scene, guys? Guys, it is Halloween and I am kind of excited, kind of not. It's raining. I don't know why, but the state I live in does this weird thing where it's like nice weather all October and then Halloween comes and it just rains. I don't know why it does that, but it does. And anyways, guys, so today it's gonna be rainy, but it's also Halloween. So I'm thinking I'm gonna channel in some rainy day cozy vibes, but then some Halloween vibes. I don't know. But anyways, guys, yeah, so I... Whew. I'm gonna go to the bookstore. I don't need to buy books because I don't even read books really that much anymore. But it's rainy and I feel like that's what you're supposed to do on rainy days is go to a bookstore. So I'm gonna go to the bookstore for no particular reason. I'm also gonna pick up Mango's Halloween costume. Our Halloween costumes this year. So I'm actually making his costume because I didn't want to spend money on his costume and buy it because I felt like it probably would go to waste if I can't even get it on him. And then he only wears it once. So I'm thing one and he is thing two. So I think I'm just gonna go to like Joanne's Fabrics and just buy like a little red pet, pet bandana with some lettering and put thing two on it. Keep it pretty simple because like I said, he's only gonna wear it once and the chances of me getting him in a costume are slim to none. And so that's what we're gonna do today, guys. Um, I'm probably gonna pick up another coffee as if I don't need more caffeine as it is. But yeah, let's get started. done with errands i've already been out for an hour and a half but now i gotta stop at work because i gotta finish some things up i have a deadline and i gotta make sure i get that in update on how the errands went guys i didn't find anything i was looking for i went to try to find a red pet bandana and i couldn't find it anywhere so first i went to joanne's and they don't they had them but they didn't have red ones they had more like pattern ones and that's not what i was looking for so i went to michael's because it said online they had it turns out only like select michael stores sell them and there was none by me that did so i went to pet smart thinking maybe i could find something for like dogs and like i'll put it on my cat and i didn't but i bought this guys so when i saw i don't normally buy my cat clothes because he doesn't wear it it's a waste of money but when i saw this i just had to buy it for him is i bought him this griswold's family christmas sweater so that is actually a movie like my family main circle family like my extended family like that is like our family christmas movie like i remember when i was younger we used to meet at my grandma's house and we'd have all these snacks and we would watch the movie and so it's actually tradition with my family now we still watch it every single year so i bought that and then when i was at barnes nobles i bought christmas cards guys i spent like 30 bucks on christmas cards but i want to get one 50 off but i didn't realize one of them was 20 bucks and so i just spent 30 bucks on christmas cards like i went here for fall halloween stuff and i bought christmas things so that's kind of how it is <laughs> okay guys i am back home i end up picking up panda express for lunch
He did the monster mash. Monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. <laughs>